Hey there, and welcome back to Sun Bear Specialty Coffee Roasters today. Just going to do a video kind of uh, showing you things that have been going on with my Ranchilio as I'm figuring it out, uh, just to kind of show you guys where I'm at. I never claim to be a barista uh, pro at all. Um, so I've been kind of learning and stumbling through things on my own. And so I'll just share a little bit about where things are at with my Ranchilio. So as I, I actually use this thing to sell coffee at the market um, multiple times a week. So I'm kind of commercially using the Ranchilio Silvio right now. And just to talk about it a little bit, I love the machine. Um, now that I've kind of figured how to dial things in with light roast coffee, um, I'll give you an example today of me dialing through uh, one of the coffees that I use that's been working really well for me. Um, a little bit of the workflow that I use and some of the struggles that I have uh, with the machine still. Um, but again, just keep in mind I'm using this kind of commercially. And so I'm trying to figure it out. It works great for home purposes, but for commercial purposes, can get a little stressful at times when you're trying to temperature surf a little bit and that kind of thing. Got my machine heating up. I've had it going for about 15 minutes now. I will always kind of test things by feeling the group head and seeing if it's hot enough yet. I just kind of let some water run through this because I did use it last night and just kind of let things clean out a little bit. Uh, sometimes don't even be surprised if you see a little bit of milky brownish tint to the, to the water as it's cleaning out whatever was in there. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to tell you is if you're making a milk based drink, which I'm going to do for the sake of this video so you can see that I'm not super confident <laughs> at milk based drinks, is go ahead and turn this one on. There's two ways you can do it. One is to go ahead and get the steam wand heating, heating up because that one is way hotter than the group head temperature. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let that heat up and then we're going to we're going to steam some milk and then let it dive back down to the temperature where we can make our espresso. And for the sake of the video today, I'm going to use uh, Califia Barista Blend Almond Milk Dairy Free. Uh, this is not sponsored video, obviously. Um, they do not know about me at all because I am not a good barista. And so going to use that, I've got my little, I think it's a 12 ounce pitcher. It's just basic, uh, it fits in the palm of your hand basically. And I'm gonna fill that up to about, see the little line in there, uh, just at the beginning of the spout um, because this almond milk expands a lot, or at least it's expanding a lot when I use it. Uh, more than, I would say even more than whole milk or half and half. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And while it's while I'm waiting on my temperature to go green, just go ahead and put this in the refrigerator. Go ahead and weigh out my beans. Today I have a Peruvian coffee. Uh, it's been going really good for me. This one is a little bit darker than I normally roast, but it, it tastes fantastic at this level. So it's a little bit more like medium roast um, than I would normally go. But I really like it. The customers have been really liking it as well. And we're gonna go ahead and weigh out. I think we'll start, um, I'm gonna go for 19 grams, I think, today. Let's go for 19 grams and we'll, even if we have to do a couple, couple shots to get it out and we'll figure it out. But 19 grams has been going, okay, that's a little over. Let's go back to, maybe a couple more. Okay, 19.4, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna sit there. Of course, I love my new logo. The new logo is looking beautiful. It looks beautiful on pretty much any bag. Um, okay, so if you've followed some of my past videos, you'll know that I was having problems before with my uh, Sete 270 from Barazza. The truth is it was not actually that at all. It was my OPV valve on the Ranchilio, which I have fixed now. If you watch that video, uh, it's in my videos. You can check it out if you need to fix your OPV valve. If you're if you're getting super pressure out of your Ranchilio, that could be one of your issues. Um, so I'm going to start. Now one of the things that I actually have to do is dial my espresso setting back. So a good rule of thumb with the espresso, uh, with the uh, Sete 270 is uh, around 5. I've got mine, I think, right now at 3. And then the micro setting... Uh, I've got about midway. I don't want to go too fine and I don't want to go too coarse. So I'm going to go 
Let's go with, we'll go with F. Why not? And then I've got it about 18 seconds. I'm gonna let that go ahead and run through here. Another little tip that I just discovered, uh, this quit working and I didn't know why and I realized that these two plastic tips broke off of here. And so I had it in normally uh, where, the, where this lines up in the front and I noticed, oh wow, it won't turn on. It's just kind of cycling through. And then I realized if I play around with it and I move this one around to, so that the, the only one that's left, I've got in the back left. So it's the back about 10 a.m. setting if you were looking at it clockwise. And then if you pop that in, it will actually work correctly. Um, sorry, it's not doing it because it doesn't have beans in there at the moment. Maybe is that, oh, I'm sorry, it's the wrong one. So about 2 p.m. setting, that's the one. And then you pop it in, and if you notice, it will actually run then. So obviously, the two o'clock setting on there has some kind of trigger that, that tells the machine that you're good to go. Okay, so my espresso is looking pretty light and fluffy. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of my stuff down. We, we are at the proper temperature right about now um, for steaming. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and we'll get to steaming our milk. Okay, so my almond milk is pretty cold because I put it in the freezer just for those couple minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it's like to steam almond milk on the Ranchilio. So again, I'm not a pro. Just warning you ahead of time. So if you hear sounds that sound unpleasant, that's why. So what I've been told, or seemingly, is get this in here. You want it angled, um, and then you're going to go down as you, but fully engage this ahead of time. And the goal is to get the the flow going early on. So I've got it engaged. It's down. I'm just going to let my temperature come up. And you can see that milk is filling it up pretty quickly. It's expanding, which I'm assuming means stretching. And it's heating up quite a bit already. So as it's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and drop this down just a little bit. And let the tip kind of reside there. It's super hot already to the point where I can't even hold it. I'm going to let that go there for a minute. It's looking pretty creamy. Okay. Release some of that steam and clean off my wand while I have a chance. I have noticed that almond milk is not as stubborn as regular milk to clean off of the, of the wand, which is nice. Okay. At that point, you have a problem, which is that you cannot do espresso at this level. It will burn your coffee. So you're gonna turn off the steam wand. And then basically the issue is that you have a lot of steam built up in here. So go ahead and release some steam out of your main thing. You'll see that going there. That's gonna, that's gonna help you dive down the temperature quicker than normal. So once it's pouring water out a little bit, you know, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, you're kind of wasting water and it's good water. And I don't like wasting good water, but I don't want to burn my shots either. So in that time, while it's preparing, diving back down, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my shot. So I've weighed out 19 grams. Got my bed prepared. I'm going to go ahead and I don't have a cool distributor or anything. So I just kind of put it in there balance it out with my hand still. It's super hot because it's been sitting in that steamy hot group head, but you also don't want it cold. You don't want your group head cold at all. So got that weighed out and I'm gonna go ahead and tamp it. I just kind of let it drift there for a second, level out. One thing I've noticed is that I have a tendency with this thing to come at it angled. Um, 
So as you can see, that's pretty level, but still, I still feel like it's a little bit less on this side than that side. That's just something I'm trying to get good at, but it's, the puck is beautiful. It's, it's definitely compressed in there well enough. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here and then pop it into place. And then I'm going to wait. It, it, it says ready, so that's the thing. You think you're ready, but you still got steam in there, and it's really needing to get out. So, I mean, even maybe letting some of your steam out is not a bad idea. But this guy, whatever you got to do to get the temperature back down, make sure there's no steam in there. So it's a little bit of a waiting game and that's the problem, but this milk is super hot. It's going to be good. I'm going to go ahead and get a glass for making a latte with. Um, let's see, what do we want to do for sweetener? So I'm kind of a keto person. I'm going to go with stevia. I have people ask for that sometimes. I also like monk fruit. Um, so I'm not going to add a lot of sweetener. Uh, just a little bit. I'll try one and see if that's enough. Okay, we should be kind of in the right area now. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh out my shot. Um, my kitchen tour scale fits in there perfectly. If I use my Akaya scale, it's a little bit challenging to get it in there. So I use this one more often than not. Um, it also has the start and stop timer. And I got it set to mils or grams, basically. I'm um, going to have that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is give this about five seconds of pre-infusion. Two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to stop, let it build up. And as you can see, the temperature just dropped down. So I'll go ahead and wait for that to come back up to the level that it needs to be at. And then, oh, it actually looks like it gave me a little, little bit of uh, that coffee. Oh no, that's just my scale. All right, I'm going to wait for that to go green again, and then I'm going to go ahead and time this shot. Again, our milk is fine over here. No issues with that. It's definitely holding temperature and waiting. So this is the issue, actually. So commercially, if I'm selling to a customer who wants a latte, I'm playing a waiting game. It's either waiting for the temperature to die down and risking having a slightly hot overly hot coffee or the opposite is that I do my shot first and I'm waiting for the temperature to heat up to the level where I can steam the milk properly. This seems easier to me and so I'm gonna go ahead and start this and we're gonna do our shot. We'll see what we get. Uh, it's pouring way too fast so I already know that's way too much. Yeah I messed something up. Okay gonna do that again for sure. Because I have my milk ready, I <laughs> don't really have a lot of time for making a shot properly again, but we're going to try it. Okay, what am I really happy with? This guy. It's just an Amazon cheap thing. I think I paid 12 bucks for it. Works fantastic. Um, go over here and clean out my puck. I'm going to hurry up and weigh out my coffee again. This one did not turn out good. It's sour. Not good. I'm gonna try again. So let's get my this guy turned back on. I'm gonna weigh this out. We're gonna take, let's go with 20 grams this time and I'm gonna tighten up. So 20 grams, 21.8, I'm gonna leave it. We're gonna go for more coffee. And then I'm also gonna go finer. So I'm gonna click it one maybe even two and then I'm gonna go to the finer setting and let's see how this works out okay maybe the issue was it didn't give me all of the coffee that I thought I was getting before weigh that out I'll weigh it on my scale where I know that I'm getting the same amount of grams out. Okay, it's right around 22, so that's plenty. 
for this shot should really go ahead and tamp it down. Clean off my group. Pop this guy back in. And let's try it again. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my scale on and off. Okay, this is shot two. Milk still has a lot of, it's super hot still. So I'm, super, I'm glad that that's holding in there. Zero out my scale. I'm gonna go ahead and get pre-infusion. All right. And wait for it. Zero out my scale again, which is not zeroing out. Okay, here we go. Okay, more like it. It's not pouring out. It's waiting, it's got a little bit of time, maybe too much time. See, this is the deal with doing espresso. It's constantly challenging. Okay, we got, we got coffee running now. That's maybe too much, too long. But we'll see, if it weighs out right, it's got crema. So far, um, yeah, 30 seconds, this one's slow. I'm gonna go for 42 grams out. Okay, a little more. Okay, it's got it's got a nice creme on it. This one, even though it went slow, I'm hoping it tastes better. I'm gonna go ahead and make my drink with this one um, because. Definitely better than the last one. Okay, so there's my espresso, and here you get to watch what's really hilarious is me trying to make latte art. Not good at it. Right? It's not. It's not beautiful. It's just what it is. Right? I'm just not a great. But the thing is, artwork doesn't really change the taste much at all. So let's let's see how it tastes. I'll mix this up a little bit. That almond milk is smooth, actually. So I really love the taste of this almond milk and most of my customers do too. I'm noticing that I'm selling a lot more almond milk than whole milk, which is amazing. So that's why I order this stuff. I really like it. It's not bad. This is, to me, an enjoyable latte. Part of which is because my coffee is really good. <laughs> and this is the beauty of when you're the roaster, you can determine like, hey, this coffee works really good for espresso or it doesn't. Uh, my Honduras coffee, I've spent so much time trying to dial it in and then finally I, I just realized, I'm like, it's not the best coffee for espresso in the world. This Peruvian coffee works fantastic as an espresso-based drink, and I love it. So I want to see that shot come out exactly right. So we're going to do it again. We're going to do one more. This time, it's going to work. I can feel it. I can feel it. We're going to make it happen. Okay, so I'm going to... Go just a little bit less coffee. So this time I'm gonna be disciplined with my 20 grams. And I might adjust this back to the coarser setting down here just a little bit. Cause I feel like we were pretty, pretty close. So 20 grams and I'm gonna be disciplined on that. Not 20, no more. 19.6, one more bean. 19, ah, oh, we're right on it, 20 grams. Look at that. Okay, 20 grams and here we go.
I do wonder if I need one of those cool distributors, you know? They look so good, but I just don't know if they are worth all the hype. Does it really make that much of a difference? Okay, try and camp straight on. That one looks pretty good. Still a little off, if you're asking me. Okay, got it in there. Turn my scale on and off. All right, I'm gonna do pre-infusion. One, two, three, four, five. I'll wait for it. I want this one to be good. I want it to be good for you guys. And for me a little bit, a little bit. Okay, here we go. And I'm starting. That's about right. I like about the fifth second, I'm looking for espresso normally. Fifth, sixth second, I'm waiting on my espresso to come. Uh, we're doing good, I think. Gonna aim for 40 out. So two and one ratio, or one and two, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna stop it when it says 38. Going over just about 30 seconds. That's about exactly what I'm looking for. So I think that shot went good. I think that shot, look at that. Hmm. Beautiful, right? Stir it up. Let's see. Yeah, just a little bit of tang to it, but this, that's how this coffee works out. It has a little bit of a, a little flavor color to it, but not too much. And it still tastes like espresso, uh, but not too, too bright. It's nice. It's actually an enjoyable shot if you want to have a full espresso shot in the middle of the afternoon. Thank you guys for following. Cheers to you.